everyone, this is the Scott Man. We're live here on the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel. It's about a 17.6 mile crossing, but actually between the between each ends of the well, back to mainland Virginia and also the Delmarva Peninsula. You can actually see the the uh, Chesapeake Bay over here. And the shoreline's over by the Virginia Beach area. Can't really see too well over on the other side. But yeah, I'm not gonna be covering the entire bridge as it's kind of lengthy, but definitely show a little bit. And there's even a, I think there's even a couple spots where you can even pull off briefly. But anyway, I'm actually on my way up to the Delmarva Peninsula. I'm gonna be doing a video at the uh, Kipto Peak State Park, which is just on the Delmarva Peninsula, then up to Ocean City, and then head up basically into Maryland, and then eventually getting into the D.C. Baltimore metro area. But yeah, the bridge we're on right now. This is the this is the older bridge. It actually, was built in 1964, and then they built the one over there in 1999. Or what well, was finished in 1999? Because this used to be just a two-lane highway until then. Okay, I'm going to see you at the next segment. About a mile after I stopped the video segment, I actually came up to a little a uh, uh, a scenic turnout. Because yeah, right over here is actually the the first of the tunnels. Because the tunnel starts right over there and actually goes under the Chesapeake Bay and it picks back up. You can probably see, it looks like almost like an island over there. That's where the, the first tunnel went. And then the, the causeway continues on over that way. And then there is eventually another tunnel. And actually, way out there, you can probably even see... Not very well. Oh, there we go. There is another one of the causeways. We can, yeah, you can probably barely see the Delmarva Peninsula. Yeah, we still got a long way to go on this. Yeah, yeah the breeze definitely feels quite wonderful here. Humidity is really low. Actually, unusual for this time of the year. So it feels quite nice. You can see a little bit of the coastline over there. All right, I'm gonna get back in the car and go through the first tunnel, continue my way north. And although the sign over there says go north to Philadelphia, I'm not actually going that far north. I'm only going to like to near like the Maryland and Delaware border, and then heading northwest toward the Annapolis and Washington D.C. All right, now we're just getting back onto the causeway, and now we're going to go into the first tunnel. They actually made this in uh, through the tunnel. It's a this is actually a, only a two-way highway. This be a little bit might be a little bit costly if they built another tunnel, but they always could in the future. You never know, but might. But I probably would say no. Yeah, the funny thing is, yeah, looking at my camera mirror compared to uh, up my actual up my front window, it's like it looks a lot darker. My own eyes and those in the camera. But yeah, we're going underneath the Chesapeake right now. Looks like there's a lot more traffic going toward Hampton Roads than there is going the other way. Yeah, it's definitely quite amazing how they constructed such a structure, being the, the, the set of bridges and also the tunnel. But yeah, it's like before this whole tunnel and bridge system was built, it's like you literally had to go all the way up to, well, unless you took a ferry, of course, you pretty much had to go all the way up toward the DC metro area in order to even go over to this peninsula. 
now we're making it out of the tunnel. Now we're back on the next causeway, and we'll continue on our way on Highway 13. And then, yeah, it's back to the divided highway again. All right, I'll see you then the next point of interest. And we are losing the left lane again, and you know what that means. We're approaching another tunnel. The other side of the road is going to be merging in with us, and I'm not going to film the whole tunnel this time because it's just going to be another tunnel, but... So actually another, another scenic turnout point over here. a little brighter. Oh, not for long. Okay. I will see at the end of the tunnel. Okay, we're leaving the leaving the second tunnel and gonna be dividing off again and and we're reaching another causeway. See the Chesapeake over there. But yeah, definitely a, a, a beautiful morning to be driving on the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel. We've gone a few miles since the last tunnel, and we're actually about to go over a a lot higher bridge, going over the Nord Channel over here. We're about to approach the highest point of the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel. You can actually see a little bit of the Delmarva Peninsula over there. And a lot more of the Chesapeake Bay going out to the Atlantic Ocean. Yeah, now we can actually see quite a bit of a ways. And yeah, this isn't the Delmarva Peninsula over here, but this is actually Fisherman's Island. I think you, think you can actually make a brief stop over on the island. Okay, and we're finally coming onto dry land. But because this is only Fisherman's Island, we got more causeway coming up. But not too much more, we're actually getting close to the end here. So we've probably done at least 80, if not 85% already. Oh, a little word of caution, yeah, make sure you drive the speed limit on this road, which I, yeah, I've pretty much been going 55 the entire way. But yeah, I've heard, I've, I've heard things where, yeah, they, the police officers really enforce the speed limits on this highway, so yeah, do not speed on this road. Hey, we're about to leave Fisherman's Island. Oh, and you can see a big ship out there. And we're going over the Fisherman Inland over, over here. Saw some people fishing. I don't know if I got that on camera or not, but... Okay, and now we're finally making it over to the Delmarva Peninsula. This is considered the eastern shore in Virginia, as well as Maryland, too, eventually when we get up, up there. And we have reached the end of the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel as we're finally entering dry land. Well, this concludes today's video here on the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel, and this is the Scott Man sending out.